is cracking me up already. Now, here's the thing. Love letters come in all shapes and sizes, but today Orly is making a very, very special one that is gonna last a lifetime. Look at that, Look at Orly. how smushy and oh sweet that is. Oh my goodness. So this is a little love letter that I wrote to Blake. I thought, you know, it's such a great time during Valentine's Day. It's such a perfect excuse to just tell anybody that we love and care about that we love and care about them. It doesn't need to be, you know, a boyfriend, a husband, a partner. It can just be your kids or your Absolutely. mom. Absolutely. And so I thought this was really sweet. Really, we wanna make this look like a letter. Yeah. Um, and it is actually um, doable for anybody, which is so fun. Anybody and your even looking at I sure me. am. So Laser let's focus. see uh, what you got here. <laughs> okay, we start with the fabric that's yeah. gonna be the actual paper for our love letter. Yeah. We're using denim. We're using denim. Okay. So basically, you don't need to use denim, but you wanna use something that is 100% cotton because we're gonna be using a bleach pen to actually pull the color out. Gotcha. This isn't paint, this, okay. is, this is bleach. So okay. you wanna use something that's 100% cotton. Denim is a great option for that. Obviously, the darker in color, the more contrast you're gonna see in your letter. Okay, excellent. Um, and then you wanna get something to actually back it with, which is gonna be the part of your blanket that you feel on your body. So something soft, you can do kind of a faux fur like I did, or any sort of a, a fleece that will be the backing to your blanket. The cozy part that you're gonna be snuggling exactly. under with the beautiful message on, on top. Okay, yeah. so now we wanna create the page on this denim right here, and yeah. I see that you've actually got the lines uh, drawn out like that intentionally. Intentionally. Yes. Yeah, and, and actually I gotta say, it was a mistake. What I first did was when I was doing my lines, I was just using chalk, yeah. just so that I would make sure that when I was writing, I wasn't you know accidentally sloping off to the side, because obviously that would be really obvious. Um, now, what I realized though is I made it intentional, so I ended up going back over it with a paint pen. So if you want, just from the very top, you could go ahead and use a paint pen so that the lines you have are actually painted on. Gotcha. And with a really dark denim, sometimes you have to do an extra pass to make sure that it really shows up. Okay, very good. And so you've got the lines on yep. there, and you've got to really obviously take some time with the message and, yeah. and merging kind of this message yeah. with what you have as far as the lines on the so-called page. Exactly, so once you know what you wanna write, yeah. I recommend writing it with your chalk first for two reasons. Let's say I'm gonna write here, Dear Mom, which is kind of similar to the one I have here. Not only is it going to give me a guide when I'm actually going in there and creating my, yeah. you know, going in with my bleach, but it also allows me, and this is a perfect example, I'm not centered. Right? Way to go, Orly. Way to go, If Orly. I did that, it would have been perfectly centered. Yeah, <laughs> excuse <laughs> moi. So, because we do it with chalk, this gives me the opportunity right. to erase any lines that I don't like and rewrite them. Okay. okay? So let's just imagine that it's nice and centered. You just want to keep it as centered as possible and create your entire message in chalk. And you get the beautiful message down there. Now you're bringing out the little bleach that you were alluding to yeah. earlier. Okay. So this is a gel bleach pen. And these are really cool because it comes out like a thick gel. There's a few hacks that I learned while doing this. First one is make sure you give it a really good shake because there will be water and it'll come out really liquidy oh, if you don't really that's shake it. what happens? Because yeah. I use these to clean my white sneakers. Oh yeah, no, that's what will happen. And what I also recommend, see even that amount of yeah. liquid that just came out, you wanna go until it feels like it's a thick line. Okay. So I feel like now we're about right. Gotcha. Okay, so now shake it down to the bottom yep. so that you know there's no bubbles. And I also found that you wanna put the nozzle onto the actual denim and don't lift it up. Because if I lift it up, it kind of creates like little curls. Whereas if I put it down, I'm more in control of the lines. You know, you're good at both of those, but it's probably a good tip for the rest of us uh, regular humans. Well, you know what's a good example I can show you? Over here, yeah. sure. do you see the little tip on the oh, L there? Oh, there you go. That's what happened when it came out Can you hold in that up kind there? of yeah. a weird like and I was like, what the? Because that's because you lifted it off. Okay, yes. good, so that's good so, to know. Now, you've gotta let this dry for a while, right? Is that how it works? Yes, now, this is hack number two. Okay. I learned a lot of things while making it. Okay. One really great way to make sure that you get really solid color is yeah. by using a blow dryer. So right when you finish it, hit it with a blow dryer and it sort of thickens it up right away. Okay. And then you can give it the time to dry. Now, once it's dried, that one I did not do it on. This one I did, and look at how much more crisp it is. Now, this bleach is dried, and look. Oh. I just flake it off to see the pattern. And that's the bleach and to that's denim the bleach. right there. And then you have it in there. And of and, course, that's yep. not gonna, you can, you can wash yeah. that, you can do whatever you want to it, and it's gonna stay just like this. Exactly. Okay. So then I would recommend washing it. Once you're ready to, to wash it, you're going to sew it to your blanket. Now you're just gonna sew it face to face. You can good. see here's a good example, right? I've got the wrong side of my fabric on both sides. Yeah. You sew, I'll do it this way so you can see, you sew from the bottom okay. up 
over, back down, leaving just a tiny opening here at the bottom. Okay. Now I'm gonna flip it inside out, and this is basically, you know, if there was a message on here, this is a miniature version of our blanket. Oh and now God. you just hand sew the bottom closed. Just like that, and yeah. you got it all done. And it's, I mean, honestly, I know, that, it's, that is so, uh, I mean, I really love this, and I think it's the kind of thing that Blakey's gonna have for a very long time. It's she nice better. Message. She better if she you gets know? rid of it. Well, <laughs> she's gonna hear about it. Well done, Orly, and you're right, I feel like I could do this. Full instructions, everybody, go to hallmarkchannel.com.